Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I've got some excellent news for you and that is that Quixel Mixer is now available, the 2021 edition. Now if you've never heard of this, Quixel Mixer is an excellent texturing tool and even better, it is an excellent free texturing tool. It's probably the closest competitor that Substance Painter has and if you're trying to create textures for your 3D models, you are going to love Quixel Mixer, especially again, it is free. About a year and a bit back, uh, Epic Games acquired it and what they did is basically made it available for free for everybody, plus Quixel's Mega Scans textures are free for Unreal Engine users and cheaper for everyone else to use. There's another product which acts as kind of a layer, or you could say bridge, between your textures, their textures, and so on, and your game engines and editing tools of choice called Quixel Bridge, which is also free. But today, we're talking specifically about Quixel Mixer, and this program is excellent for texturing. So we're going to start with a bit of a hands-on demo. And one of the big new things here is they've got support for UDIM support. We've also got a number of new examples. When you first fire it up, there's a number of sample mixes to start from. And we are going to use the Crunch Robot example. So I'm going to go ahead and open that guy up. Uh, you can do this yourself. You go ahead and download it. These will be pre-configured for you. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for this guy to load up. As you can see, there are 30 layers of textures on this guy. It is a bit of a, a, bit of a beast of a project. So I'm going to pause it while it's loading. Okay, so for the record, that only took about 20 or 30 more seconds. It wasn't like each stage was the same amount of time. But what you see here, this is a uh, 3D model being textured using Mixer's approach. And the way Mixer started out is you would mix textures together or mix procedural textures together to create uh, texture maps for your object. When you're done here, you can export out your results. You can have it generate your albedo metal, diffuse specular roughness, basically your typical PBR base rendering workflow. You can have it export out all of the textures texture maps you'd require. The big new thing you'll notice here is texture sets. And this is actually a bit of a game changer and it's something the entire industry has been moving towards. You can see them once again here. In this global one, we have arms, head, torso, and legs. So you see the head is just that one. The torso is just that one. The arms, predictably, are those ones. And then your legs are those ones. And what you're using here is something called UDIM. UDIM literally just stands for U and dimensional. And what it is is a tile-based approach to applying multiple textures to a single object. So you can have multiple texture maps in here. But the cool thing here is with this new support, so let's go back here to global so we got them all selected. If I have all of these selected and I do a painting property, it will paint across them. So if I'm doing some kind of like a normal map thing and I paint a stripe down this here and here, it will automatically just work for me and paint it on the uh, head texture and on the body texture. It makes your life so much nicer, but it also means that you can work with texture maps that logically make sense. Whereas before what we used to do is make a really large unwrapped texture and you would have like the head in you know, a portion of it, the arms in another portion of it. Now you can kind of logically group your textures together. There's also some efficiency optimizations you can work with as well. And most of the major commercial game engines support UDIM textures. I don't think Godot supports UDIM, by the way, but um, uh, Unity and Unreal do. I think CryEngine does. I think Lumberyard does. UDIM is becoming an open standard. So if they don't, they will in the future. So UDIM is definitely the star of the show here, but it is not the only new feature in Mixer 2021. Another really nice thing that they did is if we go over to the local library and I go here to smart materials, you're going to see there are 101 smart materials here. These are basically predefined or configured materials. I, I'm going to apply one globally. So let's pick one that we like the look of. So we got a number of different ones here. So here's scuffed plastic. And what I just did is applied it on top of everything. So this material is actually going to uh, be above everything else in the hierarchy. So it's gonna, actually going to take a little bit of time too. But this smart material is basically a mix that they've configured for you. There are a number of properties you can tweak on it. And what this will ultimately do is paint the entire guy scuffed blue. There we go. So we can see... It, I think it's still updating, so we need, there we go. It went across all of the different areas there. This is that material. Now you can see there are a number of things that, that make it up. You can configure each one of them. You can tweak them out. You can change the coloring and so on. So instead of scuffed blue, we wanted like scuffed red. We can easily tweak those materials. So there is a number of things you can configure with, with these smart materials. Well, the reason why I'm talking about smart materials today is this 101, everything you see here, this was added specifically to uh, Mixer 2021. This is uh, the 
uh, six pack of such. By the way, these are huge. When you choose to install it, you can say add the smart materials pack six. That is what you are seeing here. So all of these materials are new to Mixer. There are five other packs you can use as well. And there's no requirement here. Like for example, if you want to use the mega scans textures and libraries in your own game that isn't uh, necessarily using Unreal Engine, well, you gotta pay a license for that. For this, these smart materials, you can use them however you want. Now do keep in mind, you're working with these real high level composited uh, materials right here, uh, but later on, you're going to be actually exporting out normal textures. So these aren't, there's no performance ramification of these. These are like building block materials for you. So what they did is they added 101 new materials and there are five other libraries worth of materials, mind you, at three gigabytes a piece. So do be a little hesitant before you add these before your download, but just do be aware. 100 new materials you can work with, no license encumbrances on them. So, all right, let's go ahead on over back to the release notes and learn a little bit more about this release. So if you're interested in grabbing Mixer itself, as I mentioned, it is a free download. I think it's Windows and Mac. That's gonna automatically start the download, so I can't find that way. Uh, but I do believe it's Windows and Mac. I don't think there is a Linux client, but uh, give me one. It's download for Windows, other versions. Okay, we'll find it right now. Uh, so we've got Windows and Mac. Yeah, sorry, Linux. There is no Linux version. I do not know if it runs in um, some kind of an emulation layer. If it does, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And yes, I know Wine is not an emulator. And yes, I know Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. It's just easier shorthand to say an emulation layer. So what is actually new in this release? Well, we're going to head on over to the Quixel blog, and we are going to check out the multiple texture set and you did blog post, which is going to tell you the big thing. Now, multiple texture sets is basically how they are supporting UDIM. We saw that earlier on uh, when we were over here, uh, actually looking at our object uh, here, the multiple texture sets, like so. And that can work with UDIM. Uh, UDIM is a way of having multiple textures on the same object. Uh, and you can paint across them. So you can have the texture set for the head, the body, the arms, and so on. It's really gonna change your workflow, and it's very, very nice. And again, if you tick things off, it won't paint across them when you're working on those particular texture maps. So it will make UDIM painting so much easier to work with. Uh, you do have tools, obviously, for editing and working with those texture sets, and you've got the ability to focus in and uh, this is a focus area section. Uh, you can turn that on and off so you can see it, it's hiding or graying out the areas that are not currently active. We saw that in action just a minute ago. So that is a new feature there as well. Um, there's also the ability to flatten mixes. This is actually kind of cool. You can uh, take an entire layer set and flatten it down. Now do realize though that this if you flatten it and mix down, you're gonna get the same outputs, but you're not gonna be able to edit it anymore. This is a destructive change. So it will result in a faster output. You're just gonna lose the configurability you had before. So it's basically a way of baking your mixes out. Again, destructive workflow, so do that only when you're sure you want to. And here you can see the 100 new smart materials were added in the part the pack. So 100 new materials. So now there's almost 400 of them. They are completely free for commercial use which is really awesome. Also, by the way, you can create your own smart materials and add them there as well. Uh, improved layer stack interactions, uh, exporting 3D assets to your library. So when you're happy with your texture 3D model, you can now export it to your local library. Uh, by the way, you do have a library here. So local library, I'm only showing smart materials so far, uh, but you can also have 3D objects there as well. And you can bring some in from uh, the Megascans collection as well, by the way. Uh, so you've now got the ability to export your textured model out to that library to work with for future things. Uh, we have the new examples. So this one, this one, this one, plus the one we just saw in action, uh, which is the Crunch Robot. Those weirdly enough are only available these ones are available. So this guy and this guy are available in the 3D model support. So over here, also when you start a new mix, so we'll just create a new one. We won't save my changes. Uh, when you're setting up a new mix, uh, you can basically just choose uh, the model that you wanna work with. So you can have a, a 3D asset. And for example, if I wanted to use parking meter, I could use that as my base 3D asset. Apparently you get a giant question mark while it's loading. Uh, you could do it like so, but also you have the ability to bring in uh, your own object, so custom model, and then you can import in an OBJ or an FBX file if you wish. That's gonna be the object you're gonna paint on. Or of course, you can use everybody's favorite shader ball. Uh, and this is sort of the hello world of the texturing world. Uh, that guy right there. So uh, yeah, that that is the new feature and functionality there as well. Not sure how much else there is there. Again, free for commercial use, including the asset. So all of those all right, they're contradicting themselves there. 600 smart materials, and up here they say 
400. I'm not sure what the difference is. All I know is you are getting an absolute ton of smart materials in this release on top of all the painting functionality, and you can use this all completely free. Doesn't matter if you're using Unity, the Godot engine, whatever. The only thing that you're gonna run into a license issue on is if you're using a mega scans asset that isn't given away explicitly for free. Uh, there are a number of free mega scan assets, by the way, as well. But the commercial mega scan stuff, you either need to have a mega scans license or be using Unreal Engine. But otherwise, Everything you saw today, every single thing I demonstrated today can be used free in your own commercial project. So if you're looking for a texture painting application and you're not using Linux, it is hard to beat Quixel Mixer. And the 2021 release, the big thing here, of course, is the new UNIM, the 100 new smart materials, uh, the ability to collapse layers, all really nice stuff that is going to make this tool even better. Do check it out. And this is, I gotta say, Epic Games is the one company when they acquire someone, I don't feel dread because they always make it better for the end developer, even if you're not using Unreal Engine. Uh, so let me know what you think of Quixel Mixer. And yeah, I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.